Yo, yo, yo. One below. One man army. Binary style. Subterraneous. Breaking records radio. This is how we represent. 110%. Let's go. Hey, yo, hey, yo. It's your boy Monster Man Rocco. It's your boy Swagger Rock. This is Snack Ripper. Hey, can you rap for those who don't know? Master A. You are not rocking with the best. Breaking records radio. Breaking records, man. Breaking records radio. Breaking records radio. Breaking records. Breaking records. Breaking records radio. Let's go. Breaking records radio. Press the five now. Breaking records radio. Breaking records, man. Radio is like the place to be. I don't know. Fuck strange music, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Breaking Records Radio and the place to be. You know what it is, your host, Maloney. And I got a very, very, very special guest with me on the phone right now. He's an MC I've uh, regarded very highly for many years. And um, I'm just honored to be able to sit here and have some hip-hop dialogue with the man. But we got the one-man army, a.k.a. One Below, a binary star in the place to be. What's up, my man? What up, though? What's good, man? How you doing? I'm good, man. How you doing? Yo, man, thanks for reaching out, man. You know? November 7th, 1976, that's life, you know, it's my birthday, so... Oh, shit, it's that's your birthday. Cool. Yeah, yeah, so it's cool to, like... It's cool to, like, check in, you know what I'm saying, and just be able to, like, even even make, make that announcement, you know what I'm saying? Just blessed to be here, you know what I'm saying? So, thanks for the show. Yeah, no doubt, man. Thank, um, Happy birthday, man. Thank you for being with us on your born day, G. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, man, and um, so you got, like, you know, uh, just even off rip before we started, I got to say, man, like, you know, um, you're an MC I've regarded very highly for many years, and, um, like, uh, joints like Reality Check, like, Honest Expression, like, those two joints, like, molded me and changed me, you know what I mean? Sorry, I couldn't. Did you? Could you hear me? Yeah, yeah. The last thing I heard was a reality check. Okay, okay, yeah. Um, yeah. I was just saying, man. Like, um, you're an MC I've regarded very highly for years, and um, like songs like Reality Check and Onyx Expression, like those, those are songs that for you know 15 years plus, they're still some of my favorite hip hop songs of all time. Like they, they really, you know, they they hit me at times where man, I really love, needed man. them. Like um the inspiration just that's crazy man you know just just being just being a fan you know and uh just expressing you know just expressing you know like myself that's the best way I could put it really you know I mean you know of course I'm emceeing I'm rapping I'm a writer I'm a poet I'm all of that but but most importantly just just expressing myself you know what I mean and um. The reason why I'm, I'm even acknowledging that is because, like, you know, to do that, like in the Bruce Lee clip, it's not easy for a lot of people to do. Because, like, now people are going to judge you. Do I like you? Do I not like you? Do I like what you said? Do I not like, oh, that shit was corny or whatever. So, yeah, man, it's cool when people listen because I feel like, ah, right, man, you feeling like how I really feel. You know what I'm saying? You feeling how... You know what I mean? It's not like I'm, I'm putting on a costume or I'm doing it for money or doing it for somebody else's interest. It's like, man, I'm really just, you know, painting the canvas with my thoughts and my ideas and my art and my feelings and my art and, you know, and my tools. And for people to, for people to like, gravitate towards that, man, that's a really big deal, man. I don't care how many people it is or where they come from. You know, I, that's, that's love, you know what I mean? Yeah, man, like, one thing about that track, I think, is, like, um, prior to that, I'd never heard a rapper really express their hatred for, like, not hatred, but their frustration with the hip-hop they loved becoming something different. Like, I'd never really heard it put out in a song prior to that, even though, you know, we all felt that way, whether it be about one thing or another. Like, uh, I think every hip fan of uh, hip-hop has felt that way, you know what I mean? That's interesting. Yeah, man, and I yeah, just... Yeah, yeah, that's interesting. But that's what I'm saying, like, you know, and it was like, it was like, for real, though, um, it's funny because right before we put that album out, you know what I mean, we had went to, we had did a couple years in prison, you know? Yeah. And so, let's just say I was isolated. I was, I, I was kind of isolated from the rest of the hip-hop world. So when I came home, I was just kind of like, man, what the fuck's happening? Like, and I was, I, I was honestly thinking... Like, you know what, man? Like, 
I'm not even sure people want to hear what we're doing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because, you know, it was just a different vibe. It was just a different vibe. So it was really like, you know what? Let's just do the shit we love. You know what I'm saying? And, um, and like I said, you know, come to find out. Yeah, like, yeah, man, hip hop, it's, it's, it's always going to be, you know, people that gravitate towards real shit. You know, uh, whatever, however you define that, real experiences, real artists coming from their their environments and like and, and repping who they are, repping their scene, repping their culture, repping their block, repping their tribe, whatever it is. You know what I mean? And it's gonna always be people that's gonna gravitate towards that. So I learned a lot about the world through hip hop because even though I love hip hop and I believe like this could be for everybody, I kind of really didn't believe that until like. You know, black kids and white kids and Asian kids and Hispanic kids and Latino kids and Native American kids and all these different people started fucking with our shit. And I'm like, yo, that's crazy. And I'm like, you fool, you got a song that say blacks, whites, Asian. Like, you're shouting out all these people. But it's like, I, I never I never could believe that, like, I could even kick it on the University of Michigan campus. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. what? What am I going to say to these white kids, man? What am I going to say? Uh, how are these white people going to understand me? That's what I was thinking coming from Pontiac, you know what I mean? But, like, yeah. through hip-hop and writing and traveling and meeting other people and working with other artists, you know what I'm saying? Like, we came a long way, man. That's why, you know, I, I, I look at, at this November 7th, and I'm like, man, I, you know, alhamdulillah, man, I came a long way, man. And so, that feedback is awesome, man, but it... It's just, it's just, you know, we all get something from it in a different kind of way. You know what I mean? Yeah, one hundred percent, man. And one thing, like, you know, because I'm, I just turned thirty, right? So I caught on Binary Star a little bit later through the internet and stuff, right? Being from Toronto. But um, so when I probably heard Honest uh -huh. Expression, it was probably like. 2006, 2007, right? But the like, and it really resonated when you're like, my favorite rap groups broke up to turn around and join whack ones. You know what I mean? Because like at that time, Mob Deep had just like joined G Unit and shit. And it was like, so even though it was a different era, it was like, I was dealing with the same shit with like the legends I grew up listening to. You know what I mean? I'm like, damn, like you're, you're gonna do that and you're gonna do yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, for sure. So for I was, sure. was kind of curious, like when you wrote that, who, like who specifically kind of did you have in mind when you're like, damn, like my favorite groups break up, join around, turn around and join <laughs> whack one, shit like that? <laughs> Yo, man. Um. Who was I talking about at that time? Yeah, um, like when you came out, like you're we like, damn, like a lot of times, you know. So who's Um, you know, just it could have been. A, it's a lot of groups that like broke up and um and started doing stuff that was like different than what you knew them for. You know what I mean? Yeah, I could have been. And that you know, and it's not to say that they crews is necessarily whack. You know what I mean? Some people, some people had crews that. That they had already been a part of, and you just never really heard the crew or whatever. But it's like you know, a lot of that shit was local too, though. It's not just all like word, yeah. Famous people, you know what I mean? So, uh, but yeah, man, it's funny because I give you an example. Uh, somebody came to me one time and it was like, "Yo, like you diss KRS One on that song." What? And I'm like, "No, I didn't." And it was like. And, it, and I was like, no, I didn't. And it was like, yo, you said uh, Puff Ramen on the remix. What's next? And I was like, oh, snap. Like, Karis, one dude got a song with Puff Ramen on the remix. <laughs> now, personally, I didn't think about I didn't think about that when I wrote it. And another thing, too, is Karis, one had an album called What's Next. Oh, shit. So I shit. think this person made that kind of relation. This person made that so kind of bad, relation. Hurt so bad, I want to smack that's who I was talking about. That's not, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Another thing is, somebody came to me and it was like, you know, on another song, they was like, yo, you was talking about Nas when you said, I still ain't big or bad enough to blow up my bridge spot. Yeah. They thought I was talking about Nas, but I didn't even say, I didn't even say bridge spot. I said brick spot. Yeah. But the point is, people hear shit and they be like, oh, he's talking about this person. He's talking about that person. He's talking about this person. When a lot of times I am inspired by people, of course. But I would like to. I would. I would more so think about it like when I'm inspired by a person, then I turn it into a situation that can kind of like uh, resonate 
you know, throughout time. You yeah. get what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, man, and I think, um, like you if know. You, if, you, if you diss the president, if you, did, if you diss the president in office, okay, that's cool, but when he's out of office, that verse is old, right? Yeah, yeah. Now, if you diss a corrupt president, or a cor- if you diss a corrupt leader, and every time a corrupt leader comes along, that song is applicable to that leader because you just in like whack leaders. Yo, Versus facts. Just in a specific person, and that's that's kind of what I mean. You got, you got what I'm saying? Yeah. Yo, that, that's true, actually. That's well put. And I think that's one thing that makes some of those like classic uh, binary records so timeless is exactly that. It's like, because you're coming from such an honest place. You're coming from a place of just expressing yourself. But at the same time, it, it is, it's not generalized to something specific. It's, you've, you've made it more, um, what's the word I'm looking for? But kind of more uh, an open letter, open yeah, yeah, statement. Yeah. And that helps it, you know, because like, yeah, like sure, I said, sure. yeah. I caught the shit like damn near eight years after you dropped it. And I could relate it to that current time in just what I was dealing with as a fan of hip hop. You know what I mean? And then someone right now, you know, that doesn't feel, that doesn't like what so and so is doing or whatever, like they could play Honest Expression and it could still resonate with them today in 2019. Yeah, man. Because somebody's going to always feel that. It's like if you talk about being hungry. Okay, maybe you got a job and maybe you got a good career and you eating now, but somebody, somebody else is going to always be hungry. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So. Like, that's how I think about it. You get what I'm saying? Somebody, it's, it's people, like, we still discovering Bob Marley songs. We still discovering the Beatles. Somebody's still discovering Michael Jackson. Yeah. And 50 years from now, 50 years from now, people are going to still be discovering Michael Jackson. What about Binary Star? What about One Below? You get yep. what I'm saying? So... Yeah, that's facts, man. I heard you in an interview too. I can't remember who it was uh, with, but you said something along those lines. You're like, you're like some artists they get mad, you know, when it's like, oh, you weren't rocking with me last year. You're like, man, if you just started listening to us yesterday, you just first heard Binary yesterday. Hop on the train, welcome aboard. Like, yeah, man. Somebody told me that was like, yo, man, so many people sleeping on you, and it, it's interesting to me when I hear somebody say that because clearly you're not sleeping on me, but like. Like I told this person, I said, yo, um, people wake up at different times, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it's all, it's all good. It's not, you know, everybody don't have to be awake at the same time, you know what I mean? Like, to, to, for, the, for, the, for the machine to work, 